You know, living in a camper van can be a liberating and fulfilling lifestyle choice. It allows you to travel, see new places, and if you're up for it, you can live the most minimalist lifestyle you choose. However, if you're new to the camper van living life, it can be daunting to know exactly where to start. Well, the universe has brought you here for a reason, because today we're gonna share with you nine crucial tips to starting your life in a camper van. Let's rock. All right, so let's kick this off first by saying do your research and try living in a van before you buy it. We recommend renting different types and sizes of camper vans to learn first whether you truly enjoy living in a camper van and also to get used to the lifestyle. Living in a camper van can be very challenging at times, so trying it out is very important. Yes, that's right. And second, what van features can you live with and what can you live without? I mean, there's a lot of things that goes into the process of purchasing a van. Now, what we did, we rented quite a few from class B's to class C's and by doing so it really helped shape the direction in terms of what RV we wanted to purchase. Choosing the right van. Now when choosing the right van or RV for that perfect van lifestyle well you need to take in a few major factors. One the size, two the fuel efficiency and definitely the cost because those things can range anywhere from the high to the lows and a bunch of in-betweens. Now unless you refurbish or build vans and cars for a living you definitely want to consider getting one that's in good condition and having the essential things that you need like a kitchenette, a bathroom, and a decent sleeping area. So what about some of the less obvious ones? Yeah, no, that's a good idea. And actually one that comes to mind is make sure your van has very good insulation. Yes. And you might think, hey, I don't go into the really cold weather, so I don't really need it. But insulation helps you both in the cold weather, but also in the really hot weather too. It helps moderate the temperature inside your RV or van. Absolutely. And let's not forget about comfortability, y'all. You need to make sure you have a good mattress yes. because if you don't have a good mattress you're not going to enjoy the process you know you're doing a lot of driving on the road and you're going to be sleeping in your van and rv so it's important to have that comfortable night's sleep so that you can wake up and have a great cup of coffee for the love of your life versus <laughs> Invest in a good mattress. <laughs> oh, and one thing we really appreciate having, you guys, is a water filtration system. A good water filtration system, right? Oh, no, that is so important. Obviously, you need pure drinking water when you're on the road. And you don't want to just constantly rely on just getting the plastic bottles. Oh, my gosh. Right? So make sure you have a good water filtration system. Now, what we have is actually a Berkey mm -hmm. we've been very happy with. And uh, it works very well for us on the road. Absolutely. I mean, I feel like it's quadruple filtered. It goes from the outside yes. filter to the sink is filtered from the sink filter to the Berkey to the Berkey then to my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're interested, we can leave a link for that in the description box below. Learn about van maintenance and start becoming handy. If you're not handy, you need to get handy when you're living in a camper van because quite <laughs> frankly, something is always broken, oh, yeah. right? You're never, you're basically driving your house down the road and something tends to break when you're driving. We can't think of a time when everything has worked. And so it's very important to be able to fix things yourself. And that's not just doing the oil changes, not just, you know, doing the tire rotations, but it's really fixing things in your home. Like it could be the AC, it could be a water leak, uh, it could be the refrigerator. Make sure you read the manuals and start to become handy. Woo, that's right. Get handy, you guys, so you can avoid some of them crazy expensive techs. Create a budget. Living in a camper van can be affordable, but you still need to create a budget to manage your expenses. You know, van lifers and RVers alike that are living this lifestyle can certainly live cheaply, but there are a lot of times that it can be more expensive than you think. We actually put a video together on this right here, sharing what it was like living full time one year in our RV and what those costs are like and we'll leave a link in the description box below if you're interested. Practice minimalism. Living in a camper van means you'll need to embrace just that. Learn to live with less and enjoy the simple things in life. Less. <laughs> That's right. Less. More. <laughs> now, one of the minimalistic things you can practice right now before you buy your camper van is to pack light. Start yeah. packing light. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, that's absolutely true. We actually learned this ourselves. I mean, I personally packed way too much. We learned initially. a hard way out. Exactly. And so you don't need so much stuff when you're living in the van. So definitely conserve the space and pack light. You need to always keep in mind the storage and the organization. You know, the biggest thing for us living in such a small space was keeping things neat and tidy, storage, as well as 
keeping things organized because it helps you keep a long lasting relationship, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very true. And space is at a premium, right? Yeah. So you can't take everything that you can have in your normal house, yeah. right? So everything's a trade off. Do you take this? Do you take that? Can you take the fire pit? Can you take this propane burner? Something's got to give, right? You have limited space. Yeah. Can you take these pair of shoes or can you take these flip flops or can yeah. you take this skirt or can you take this pair of pants? That's a convertible. He has a lot of trade offs and you got to learn to sometimes wear the same thing twice. But you, Dave has a method for that, right? What's the usual method? Oh, for, here we go again. What's the. Um, oh. This one's fine. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> now, one of the big things for us living in a small camper van the way we do is we love to boondock. And what that means, you got to think about your water consumption. So learn to conserve water. Yeah, no, absolutely. You're basically bringing your water with you. So you can't take those long showers. No, right? you can't. Take the quick showers, get yourself clean. Know what's important. Three minutes or less is the best. <laughs> <laughs> learn to cook, honey. Yes, learn to cook. Now, Mama T loves to cook, right? Oh yeah, and I love to eat. And oh, he does love to eat. And that's what makes a fantastic loving relationship, right? You can, oh yeah. Ooh, ooh. Hold on guys, we'll be right back. <laughs> Woo, okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to cooking, but we need to start cooking in the kitchen. So cooking is definitely an essential skill you need to learn. You know, you can't eat out all the time. So go ahead and get yourself some silverware, some good cookware, and start learning some simple recipes. As a matter of fact, I have a really good recipe for you in this video right here. And it's enough to last you for a week. Mm. And be prepared to cook outside. That's right. You know, it could be in a nice grill or even an induction cooktop. Yeah, we actually have a very, very good grill, Dave. We've been using it for over a year now, religiously. Yes. And every time I go to the store, I always buy something to throw on that grill because this is the grill master right here. Ooh, when he puts on a steak or he puts on some barbecue chicken, it's yum, yum. Give me some. Be flexible. Living in a camper van means you'll need to be flexible with your plans. You may not always know where you're going to be in a couple of weeks or even next week. We don't. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, we do. Sometimes. Normally. <laughs> right, but you definitely need that flexibility and be prepared to change your plans if necessary. And actually, weather could really have an impact on that as well. We've had situations where we've actually had tornado warnings affect our plans. Yeah, we had to stop, drop, and roll. And then we end up in some situations that you can't get out of. So it looked a little something like this in Deadwood. You remember that? Oh, man. Stay connected and get involved with the van life and RV community. You know, staying connected to the outside world is important. If you go off, let's say you're a solo van lifer and you're off out in a boonie somewhere, well, you need to make sure you have some form of connectivity in case something happens to you out there. Dave and myself, as full-time content creators, it's important for us to have connectivity all the time so we can be connected with you. So we've invested in hotspots and other internet connectivity ways to stay connected to the world out there. <laughs> <laughs> now that's very important. And also consider joining an online community, actually online or in person. There's yes. some great van life communities out there. We actually joined one related to our own Winnebago Echo here. Mm -hmm. And it's, you learn the great tips about the rig, places to go, things to do, and also just making friends. Absolutely. Hey, take a second if you haven't done so, by the way, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you continue getting some of the best travel, RV and van life content out there. <laughs> Stay active. <laughs> <laughs> Living in a camper van can be surprisingly sedentary, oh, yeah. especially if you're on the road often. Definitely. And it's one of those things where you need to get that exercise in yes. there. You know, go for a bike ride, go for a walk, go for a hike. You know, some of the places we've been to because we're so consumed with work, we haven't had a chance to just get out and enjoy. And we're learning to do more and more of that, which goes to my next point. Take your time, if you can, going from place to place. You don't want to miss the in-betweens just because you're rushing to the next spot. And we've learned that over a year of full-time living in this and traveling to slow down a bit exactly. and enjoy it. Exactly. Slow down. Don't try to travel too far day after day after day. Take your time and just enjoy where you are. Yeah. Uh, we try and do what? Four hours at the max? Mr. Planner, just keep it within four hours. Anything yeah. longer might get you in trouble. Yeah. Until tomorrow. <laughs> And finally, and this is really important, so grab a piece of paper right now or post it, write this down, stick it on your refrigerator or somewhere where it can be seen every day. Enjoy the journey. Seriously, enjoy the journey. Yeah, that's right. Living in a camper van can be a life-changing experience, so embrace it and enjoy the ride. I am. <laughs> I know someone who's enjoying the ride. Are you enjoying the ride? Mommy little fluffy doobie, mommy doobie doobie. <laughs>
puppies. For our fellow van lifers and RVers, if you have any tips for getting started living in a camper van, let us know in the comments below. Absolutely, we love to read them. And as a matter of fact, we'll see you in the comment section.